Um, my name is Tom Woodford. Um, I have Spencer here who is going to help us today. We are going to get started on the common application. We're going to take care of creating um, your common app. We're going to also um, match common app to school links and go through all of the parts that that you have to do so you can complete um, everything you need on this application. Spencer has uh, volunteered to help us out today. Thank you, Spencer. Yep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. If you're working from home, is all you have to do is follow along. You should open up two tabs. One should be Common App and one should be School Links, and it should look like this. So we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, Spencer here. Uh, we're going to go to the bottom left corner. We're going to start the application. All students here are first year students. No matter if you've taken college classes before, you are a first year student. So Spencer, you're going to put in the email that you want to use. You can use your personal email. You can use your school email. It doesn't matter. You just need to know which one that you have used. Do not copy and paste it. Type it in again, because if you have um, uh, type something in wrong, then it is going to cause a problem. All right. Then the password has to be 10 digits long. You it needs to have a capital letter, a number and a symbol as well. Very good. Then you have to type it in again. I would encourage you after you do this to put this in your phone. You're going to click on the first circle there. You definitely want to put that in your phone so you have the, your um, um, email that you used with the password. All right, you're going to take in your first name, your legal name. Uh, say no to this next question. You're going to use your legal name for, for this process. Uh, your last name. And then you're going to click on the little icon in the, your date. Please put in your birth date. You're going to start off by putting in the year and then the month and the day. Very good. Please put your, your birth date, not today's date. Phone number, you're going to click on US. You're going to type in your number. And you're going to put in your address. It should populate for you. Continue. Very good. Scroll down. Say no to this next question. You are not from the EU. Scroll down. Uh, you can say yes or no if you want text messages from the Common App. Not sure if you would really want that or not, but that's up to you, Spencer. Check the box and then check the blue. It's going to sit here and think for a moment. Then as soon as um, it finishes loading, Common App should pop right up. Very good. So Spencer's in. Welcome, Spencer. Common App is made up of these five tabs. The financial aid tab over here on the right will give you information about grants and scholarships and loans and the whole FAFSA process. We will be hosting a financial aid meeting on September 24th at Darby at 630. Um, all seniors and their parents should come to that. So using these five tabs, this is where you're going to spend your time. The dashboard, once we put colleges in, the dashboard's where you're going to go. It's going to give you this where you'll see all of your colleges. It'll give you all of the deadlines for each of the schools, uh, what is required in terms of the application process and things like that. My colleges, once we put in schools, um, this is where you'll find questions specific to each school. And then this is where you'll take care of FERPA, which we will do here very soon. And then this is where you review, pay for, and submit each application separately. Okay. Now, the Common App tab is where you're going to spend 
most of your time right here. The Common App is made up of these six different sections. All right. Every time you finish a section, you will get a green check mark. Now, the first thing we have to do so we can uh, begin to match Common App to School Links is go to the education section there on the left. Click on that. We need to identify your high school. All right. Uh, we are. Spencer is at Darby. We're going to continue. That's all we're going to do right now, but we have to put this in here. Then Spencer, this is where we will start to, to put in the applications that you're or the colleges you're going to apply using this application. If you notice coming up, we have a free application night for OU and Bowling Green. If you're going to apply to those schools, we're not going to put them in here because we're going to use their own application. If you're coming on September 18th, where now we have 15 colleges that, that are coming. If you're applying to Akron, Mount Vernon, um, Capital, um, Columbus State, Finley, Ashland, um, Ohio Wesleyan, Grand Canyon University, Eastern Michigan, and, and a few others, you will not put them in here either because you're going to be using their own application that night. So we'll let you put in your first school. What school might that be? Well, how was that would be my first choice? OK, right. Very good, Miami, it'll show up on the left. Click on the add. Very good. So after you do that, you want to go over to my colleges and make sure it's there. OK, are you going to add any more schools? Yeah, very good. We'll go back to college search. Otterbein, there it is. Go back to my colleges. They both will show up there. Very good. Is that all that you were going to do right now? Yeah. Perfect. Now our next step of what we have to do so we can match. You go over here in my colleges, click on just one of your schools. So we will click on Miami. So Miami, this is where you find their own questions. This is where you can request recommendations who are not teachers for outside folks if they will allow it. This is where we take care of FERPA. And we're going to take care of that in just a moment. Right here is review is where you review, pay for, and submit all of your applications. So the next thing we have to do so we can match Common App to School Links is take care of the FERPA waiver. What is FERPA? FERPA is a federal law that you have to give as a student you have to give these colleges permission to read your personal information that you're going to give them and that what uh, we are going to give them in terms of your transcript and things like that. OK, so we need to take care of that right now. So we're going to click on this blue tab. Scroll down, check on the box. Continue. Check on this box. Then right here, Spencer, you can do either one you want. You can either waive your right to review any kind of recommendations or that you might want to view them through Common App, or you do not want to waive your right. That's up to you. Now, I will tell you, you can choose either one. Most of our teachers actually give you a copy of what they write, but some teachers might not want you to see exactly what they write. And so they might not, if you waive your right, or if you don't, waive your right, they might say, you know what, if I'm going to write any kind of letter of recommendation, that's going to be, be between myself and the college. OK, and so you can choose either one you want. Um, most of our teachers write them, actually hand them to you. You know, it really isn't going to matter. So you can choose either one. All right, then you will check the box. You're going to type in your name. First name and last name, then for the date, Click on the icon, click on the circle, and then save it. Once you do this the first time, you'll get your first green check mark. It'll show up for all of your schools over here. So that you have given those colleges permission to read what has been sent to them. OK, so now we're finished with what we have to do so we can match these two systems. Now we need to move over to school links. Once you log into School Links, you'll log in with Google. You will go over here on the left where it says Colleges. 
click on college applications. The first thing it's going to say is let's go. You're going to put in your ad your um, address. This is beginning the matching. So Common App and School Links can talk to each other. There you are, click on it, click on next. This is where you say if you qualify for free and reduced lunch. If you do not, you check the box at the bottom that says none, and then click on next. Then here we have to do the FERPA waiver again. This is saying it's okay that Common App and School Links are speaking to each other. You want to answer this the same way as you did the first time. Very good. And then we go right down here, check the box. You're going to type in your name. It's going to come out cursive. Then you're going to sign the waiver and scroll down and then click on finish the application. When you get to this point, you're going to have to see this screen. Over here on the left where it says connect, we're going to click on that. You can read this if you want to, but you don't need to. Scroll down. Click on the green. What's happening here? It's not showing up. Going on here. Right down here should be the green uh, where it's asking you to match these two together. There it is. <clears throat> okay. Very good. Now, to match these together, Spencer needs to log in to the Common App again using the same email he used before. You'll have to put in his password. Click on the blue. Then it's going to ask you, do you agree that these two systems can speak to each other? When that happens, you just say, I agree and connect. After you do that, this will pop up. Wait four to five seconds and it will go back to school links. If it works perfectly like it did here, the, the, the colleges that were on your Common App will show up in school links. If they don't, if they are missing, click right here to refresh. As soon as you do that, they will pop in there and you are good to go, okay? Now, if you're planning to apply to any schools at our free application nights. I think Spencer said he was going to apply to Ohio Wesleyan. Well, first of all, all schools you see here, you've requested the transcripts already. So now if you're going to apply to any schools using their own applications, they need to show up here so we can send the transcripts. So you go over here to add application where it says school search. You're going to put in the college, click on it, add it, you're going to click right here where it says um, school specific application. And you have to put the application type. We're doing early action. And we're going to scroll down. Yes, Spencer, you're going to uh, apply for financial aid. Then you'll save the application right here. And then when you scroll back up, we're on the left where it says back. You click here then that school has shown up right there. Are you applying to any other schools that you're going to use their own application? No, oh, please. That's it, okay? If you're going to apply to OU and Bowling Green, you need to put both of them in there. That's great. <clears throat> now, if Spencer wants to request letters of recommendation from his teachers, the way he does that is let's go to Miami. You click on the little pencil. You do this in school links. You click on the little pencil. It'll tell you right here, Miami only accepts one, and you put it. You click the little plus sign right here. You put in the teacher. Any idea who, who you would like to invite? Uh, my zoo school teacher. Who? My zoo school teacher. Your zoo school teacher is not going to be in here because she's not in our building. Okay. It, this would be a teacher from here. Okay. Okay. So you would you do a search here like. We can just, for an example, just put in Miller. We cannot not do it all the way. All right. So if you click on Brett Miller, click on next, you you will put in the subject that he um, teaches. If you want to write him a little note, you can. And as soon as you're done, you click on add. 
Okay. You have to do that for each of your schools. So if you invite Mr. Miller for Miami, then you would do that for Ohio Wesleyan. You would do that for Otterbein. Whoever is your number one teacher. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> these teachers are going to want to see a like a, a brag sheet for you. Okay. We call it a senior profile. To fill this out so the writers who are writing for you can have this to help them, just click on your name. And this is where this will appear right here. Okay. You can put in your goals, you can put in your strengths, what you're most proud of, your interests and hobbies, any internships or jobs you had over the summer, what sports you're in. You definitely want to talk about the zoo school. Absolutely is something that you want to um, talk about in here. So these teachers can write about some of the skills that that they that they've seen from you in class, and they can apply that to other things that you do. Once you do that, you are good to go. Then you go right back to Common App and you begin working on the application. Now remember in Common App, if you go to My Colleges, I would encourage you to answer the first couple questions here, like for Miami. They're gonna ask you, when do you plan to apply? You want, you want to a start, you wanna start in the fall of 25, this is where you create your admissions plan, which is tied to a deadline, which will show up in school links. Early de decision is binding. Early action, you can apply to as many schools as you want. That's probably what you'd want to do. That's non-binding. Okay. Now for Miami, you want to live on campus. For Miami, it's also saying, if you select this Miami fee waiver and you apply before it, December 1st, the application's free. We just made it free. You just save mom and dad 50 bucks. Nice. Tell them you'll split it with them. They owe you 25. Okay. How's that sound? Good stuff. All right. It's going to ask you things about financial aid. Are you a U.S. citizen? And things like this is where they'll also ask you, do you plan to apply with test scores? This is where you're telling a college you're going to apply with test scores or you're not. If you tell a school you are, then you have to go into your college board account or your, or your ACT account and send those scores from there. Okay? okay. All right. So at this point, you just keep working through the application. As you finish the section, you'll get check marks when they're all filled here. And then you have their own questions finished. Then you can go to the submit button and you can review. It won't let you go any further because you, ha you have all these parts done. So you can breathe easy. It's not going to allow you to submit something that you haven't had a chance to complete. Okay. I want to thank uh, Spencer for helping us here today. Um, if you have any questions with your application, please feel free to reach out to me and I can help you. Thank you.